Well, this plan to build a new coal mine on the site of the old Marshon Chemical Works in Whitehaven, which could create 500 jobs in the area, was approved unanimously by county councillors here at County Hall this afternoon. There were passionate arguments made on both sides, including by a number of environmental campaigners who said that this would add to climate change because of the increased carbon emissions from the coal that would be extracted here. The green light for Cumbria's controversial coal mine was given on Wednesday night and within days opposition to the government's plan has gathered steam. Protest in Penrith was held yesterday and this morning a second protest at the site of the mine in Whitehaven. Those objecting describing it as a backward step and bad news for the climate. Others also spoke in support of the plan, they spoke of the pride and the income that mining once brought to West Cumbria and that it could do now again and it was ultimately arguments like those that councillors accepted. It's a long time to get to this decision but we're absolutely delighted both for ourselves here and the residents that have fought so hard for this. The area that the mine's going to be in is one of the deprived areas within Copeland. It's 500 lo mainly local jobs. Fundamentally this is about climate change. 400,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide into the air every year. If not here, then somewhere else in the, in the world, adding to the global emissions. And that's a really dangerous thing to be doing at this time. So we need to be acting at pace to reduce our climate emissions. This is going in the wrong direction. My name is Julie Pennington. I was born and bred in Whitehaven, so I've lived the whole of my life since 1968 in Whitehaven. And basically for me, Whitehaven is just a great place to live. It's close to the coast, it's close to the fells, we've got everything we want on our doorstep. The downside is there's a poverty which is quite prevalent and getting worse over the years. and the infrastructure towards Whitehaven isn't great. And for me, I've seen the ups and downs of everything. So the 1970s was really a 50-50 split, I would say, between employment and unemployment. The town was quite run down. It was very industrial at the time because of the mines and the impact that the mines have on the area. Um, but also the upside was that we had Marshon, which was the chemical plant um, at the top of Kells. And Marshon employed, I think it was about three and a half, four thousand people. So as Marshon grew and developed from the 1950s, by the time we got to sort of the 80s, they were employing a huge amount of people. Plus, of course, we still had the mining facility here. Um, and my family, my dad's side of the family, are all mining background. So all of them worked down the pit at Hague. Times moved on, the pits closed in 1986 and then Marshon disappeared but that then brought mass unemployment for people. But of the people that are unemployed, they're long term unemployed so that's got a massive impact. So yeah, I've seen ups and downs across the whole way. 1970s very grim, 1980s starting to build ourselves up and it was becoming a really vibrant town. 1990s quite vibrant, 2000 on rapid decline. I think I've got mixed views on the coal mine. I think it's a good thing. It's certainly a good thing for employment because we massively need more employment in this area. The downside is the climate issues surrounding the, the new coal mine, although it is a coking mine, and that, that is, is going to go into the steel industry. What is that right thing to do? Well, it feels like a very backward step when we're in a climate emergency and we're in a cost of living crisis, but we're also in a climate emergency and we, we can't forget and we don't grow our way out of this cost of living crisis by creating a worse okay. climate crisis. To be honest, it gives, it gives employment to the town and uh, develops everything else that's around there and keeps things clean and tidy. Going with what they say with the climate change, 
uh, and the steelworks of the Neep Coal. I think it's a it was, it's a must really for this town anyway because of the uh, uh, import and export. We don't have, they, we import our coal for the steels. We don't have to do it with this, or we export it back to them one way or the other. You know, but I'm all for it to be honest. The town's getting worse. Shops are shut and business are going out of business because of. Well, that's because of the economy and everything like that. So a bit more money, we go and be what I've read and read about it. The wages is quite good, so it gives them, gives the, gives the people a, a good start. I'm all for it, to be honest. One of my friends, they're actually purchasing a property to do the mine, and it's going to create, you know, lots of jobs. So I think it's a really good you know, thing for the community and I'm quite happy with it. I think it's a good idea. And a lot of people work at Sellafield, the nuclear plant, but it is all decommissioning. So we need to get our energy from somewhere and obviously that the coal, you know, that coal mine will be a really good idea and it'll help boost the economy and create jobs. Obviously it will create more jobs. Right now I feel like all our eggs are in one basket with Sellafield. So, yes, I think that can only be a positive again for the town if the coal mine did go ahead. I'm disappointed that uh, it got the planning consent that the public inquiry found it in favour of it. Uh, I think, you know, the writing's on the wall for, for the world, really, for climate change. And um, to say, you know, to argue that, well, you know, if, if we don't produce this coke, somebody else will doesn't really wash because you need to cut the production of that and you need to find uh, more technologically advanced ways of, of smelting steel which, which are coming on stream uh, and so much against it we, we cannot as, as a world mine all the fossil fuels that are still available without climate breakdown changes that we're seeing now particularly with the weather and how that's impacting on coastal erosion and, and everything else that goes with it I think we've got a major problem that needs to be resolved and if that doesn't get resolved and we carry continue down the line of promoting um, things that have an adverse effect on our carbon footprint then I think we're not doing ourselves any favours but worse than that we're not doing the next generation and the one after that any favours reaction from local people has been very very positive towards the jobs aspect. I think I would imagine a lot of people have mixed feelings about the climate impact but the overall issue for us is that if we don't get employment in this area how can we sustain this area? How can we encourage children to stay here? Because a lot of our children will just leave here and never come back. Campaigners insist the mine is not a done deal, with some now crowdfunding to explore a possible legal challenge. The use of coal in the 21st century is controversial. The mine is a step closer. The arguments over the economic benefits versus the environmental impact will continue. From the employment angle, this is a good thing to have the new mine. Um, desperately, desperately needed in an area where we are largely forgotten. So I think you'll find that the reaction from people here is very much for this mine and I can completely understand why. As a community we're not mad keen on the spotlight being on us for all the wrong reasons. I can completely understand where climate change activists are coming from and understanding why they're, they're trying to stop this from going ahead. But do those people live here? That, that would be my, my view on, on that. I think people are entitled to their say and they're entitled to how they re react to this. But if you walk in somebody else's shoes, you might see it differently as well.